am perfectly fine with forgiveness and restoration in some degree. But when it comes to something like this with a 12-year-old child, and this is per what Steve said, who was a friend of his who heard this story, Robert Morris told the elders that this 12-year-old girl was basically a Jezebel, that she tempted him, and that she blackmailed him because she came on to him, and she perpetuated this over years because once anything happened, she blackmailed him and said, this needs to keep happening or else I'm going to tell on you. So I, I want you. I want to keep having this kind of relationship. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm going to tell you something. Have I met some 12-year-old girls that are off the charts? Yes, I have. I have. Even if that were the case. Even if she was standing there completely undressed. At 12 years old, you do not have the brain capacity to understand what you are doing. You are not developed. You know, a kid, no matter what is going through your head. She was 12. He was somewhere around 24, 25 and married and had a child and was staying in the house of her father. So you're telling me that you have so little self-control that a 12-year-old girl can push herself on you and you can't resist? That's what you're saying to me. That she made you do it because she was a Jezebel at 12? Where's your honor? Where is your self-control? Because I don't see anything here. A normal person who, two scenarios. One, if you were truly, like, horrified and like, oh my God, the first thing you would go, your, her dad was your friend. You would go straight to the dad and say, I'm sorry, buddy, but your child is out of control. This is what she just did to me. If you were honest, if you were a man of integrity, that's what you would have done. If that wasn't true, but you were having inappropriate thoughts about a 12-year-old girl, and it was something that was, it was just like plague in your mind, and it was a temptation, then why did you stay in that house? Because a man of integrity would have never gone back to that house. Never. He would have said, look, look, I got to stay somewhere else. And you don't even have to give, you know, the reason. But if you know you got a problem, you run the other way. So let me ask you something. While you want to give grace to everybody and pat them on the head and say, oh, yeah, you're restored. Where are the men like Joseph? Where are the where's the Joseph generation of men who will stand up and run out the door as a matter of fact, his clothes torn off because Potiphar's wife was trying to get him involved in that situation. And he's like, oh, <laughs> no, this ain't happening. And I mean, she rips his she rips his coat and he runs out the door. That is what integrity looks like. It is not blaming a 12 year old child. That is not integrity. I don't care what kind of spirit she had. I don't care if she had 14 of them. You are an adult. And integrity would have made all the difference in this situation. So that leads me to believe that this was not the situation, okay? Of a 12-year-old child. Child. Mm -hmm.